All right, everyone, we're going to be cracking this book open. So I purchased this book pretty cheap. And I noticed that it had uh, a bit of imperfections here. Uh, I, I, you can see it here. The light right there. Uh, you can see that that could be easily pressed out. Um, there was another slight bend right there. Um, under the light, you could see some a, a tight, like slight spine stress. Um, but overall, this book, I think, could be a great candidate. Um, maybe some cleaning here and on, on, on the spine. And there was some slight spine stresses here. Uh, but again, easily easy fix. Um, they're not going to all go away, but you know, I think this book was a great candidate to crack open and and resubmit. Um, another thing I wanted to tell everyone is that when you're looking at um, the spine on books, a lot of it is uh, noticeable to the eye. Like you can't really see all the details. I actually use this jeweler's loop, and let me tell you that. When when I turned this on and I started looking at the spine, I could actually see a lot more imperfections that are not noticeable to the eye. I mean, it was incredible. Like when you start to look at this, um, I believe around here, I know it was somewhere around this area. It was around here. Um, you could see some some stress in the spine that you otherwise you can't really see at all. It's insane. And this can actually help a lot. Like you can see right there. Um, you, this could actually help a lot in, in, in seeing a lot of these imperfections. Because I guarantee you that CGC and every other grading company... I know there was something around the lines around here also. Um, I know that they use this tool. I know for a fact. I mean, come on. I mean, not everything is 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 based on just, you know, I appeal. I know that they see, the, uh, they will look at this with the loop. I mean, I would. I honestly, I would. So if, if you, I mean, you could get one of these for like four bucks, five bucks on Amazon. I use this for sports cards when I want to look at the corners and such. So I would advise you to buy that. I mean, it'll help, especially for books that have like white um, spines. And, and if you want to see other things that I, I would guarantee you that CGC will catch. Um, so yeah, we're going to break this open and see what's up again these spines i mean these books are, are just some of them are just easy to crack open let me just i'm gonna turn this slightly off so i could adjust this all right, just need to grab hold of this, and let's just start right down the middle here. I already took a scan of the book. Sorry. Took a scan of the book because, I mean, you want to see those before and after scans, not pictures. I mean, pictures don't really tell the whole story. And just like that. Just like that. Let's take this label out. This pretty label. There you go. It's out. As you can see, I mean, it's, the others are still still stuck together. I mean, I might. I mean, if you're shipping out on a really really expensive kind book, you want to put it in a backing board, and and put it in this. I think this. I mean, we're talking about like thousand dollar books. I mean, that'd be a cool idea. Um, so we're gonna keep this. 
we're going to keep this obviously and hopefully we'll receive a massive bump on this. I'll put it with my other books that I have. They're going out to CGC this weekend. All right, let's take a look at this. I mean, like, like I said, there's a, a slight crunch right there that can be pressed out. I mean, overall, oh, there you go. There is another imperfection here, as you can see right there. And I don't know if you guys can see that that spine stress. There you go. Uh, yeah, spine stress, spine stress. I mean, I think I could fix this book up. I mean, there are a few divots there or dings right here. Um, I'm psyched. I mean, I, I, I think uh, there you go. There's another cre uh, bend right there, right? Like a, a thumb uh, right there. It's right here. I don't know. I mean, this is, it looks like, it, it, I mean, for me, it's like a great candidate to, it was a great candidate to crack open. The price wasn't that bad. So let's get book out and and the, if there's a massive difference in price you know if i were to get that that bump oops you want to be very careful when you're doing this i almost committed a boo-boo right there an expensive boo-boo at that look at that almost holy crap oh <laughs> Holy crap. Right there. All right. Um, let's see if we could plump this open here. All right. Let's see. Still in, intact here, so I made a mistake there. Just like it's stuck here. All right. There you go. Let's see if we could. This guy out here and slowly, very carefully extend this here. Yeah. Let me just pry open this little corner over here. Stuck to my glove. All right, well, let's take a look at this now and see if we could pry them, get them out. All right. Oof! I, I was about to freak out when. So this looks like it could be I mean as you can see here again this is spine stress that could be pressed out nothing that breaks color really and then you got this imperfection here which I mentioned before you got a slight it's a lot of like dings there's one here right there then on the back you have 
one ding right there and this one which was pretty noticeable but again nothing major i gotta say this book i'm i'm really excited to work on this book i'm not going to go to do too much on it i think I mean, the pages look pretty white. I mean, uh, yeah, pages look pretty white. There looks really nice. Such iconic. It brings great memories when when I look at this book. I mean, these were corny shows. I mean, this Mr. T show was whack. And the worst part of this cartoon, this Mr. T cartoon, was the damn dog. I mean, he was doing twirls and and and, and doing 360s. It was ridiculous. The only thing I stayed up, uh, I mean, I would stay around for, was obviously for Spider-Man, his amazing friends. This going bananas was stupid. Everything else was just completely dumb. I don't even know how it made it up, how, how it made it on air. Well, we didn't see any paper in here, so. And you got that iconic moment here. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, this looks like a book that can really. I don't know. I'm just going to give it a simple press. I'm not going to overthink it. Um. So, yeah. I will definitely, we'll see after I press it, show you a quick vid on this, and then we'll come back when, when I when I have resubmitted this book, and hopefully we can get a 9.6 or a 9.4 at best, but I think this is a great candidate, so wish me luck, guys. Thank you. See you soon. Okay, so we got our books back here, and again, this was a crack press and resubmit. Um, all these books, I bought um, half of them off of eBay, and one at a, a small con near me. So the first book I bought this book originally was an 8.0, and I looked up Greater Notes, and it had a lot of fixable defects, and it came back a came back an 8.0. Uh, really disappointed in this one and I know a lot of you guys out there or and gals can relate to when you send out a book and you know for certain that the book doesn't have certain defects and the book comes back and I have to say none of these defects were there um, I I pressed this book and I mean these these creases right there I don't know what's going on at CGC, to be honest. This book was flat. It was extremely flat, but came back with the same grade. So disappointed maybe in the handling of this book over at CGC. Um, but still goes into my PC because I, I tend to collect every G.I. Joe 21. So this is the new stand edition. Um, I'm just missing the second print. So I'm on the hunt for that one. And I believe the Canadian 75 cent variant. This one I bought at a small con here. Originally at 8.0. And I thought that, again, had some really fixable defects. I mean, I, I, I didn't do too much to this book. Because, well, you know, you don't want to overdo it. So wound up cracking it. Cracking it pressing and this one came back a 9.2 so I'm extremely happy with this one a uh, huge bump up for me especially on this book which is a key and should be in every collection if you're really a, a Spider-Man fan or collector or even Venom uh, this is really important that you have this in your in your PC uh, this book I mean this was about the average I was expecting. I was really expecting a 9.4, to be honest, or a 9.6.
but again, um, CGC is really strict on, I don't know what they're, what's going on over there, but they're really harsh on grading this time around. And my last one was this GI Joe. Now this GI Joe, I bought it, I believe it was for $70 off of eBay. This is the third print. Um, I really did fix this one also. It didn't have too many things. But again, this is another book that came back with all these bends and, and, and creases here. And they weren't there, to be honest. Let's, I mean, what is going on, CGC? I mean, I was really expecting this book to grade higher. But it did come back a 9. So again, uh, this was a huge bump also. And again, from a 7.5 to a, a, a 9. Uh, it's all good. But again, I was expecting at least a 9.2, 9.4. And I don't know what's going on at quality control, the handling. But again, oh man. This book did not have any of these imperfections. And I know a lot of you can relate out there, but it is what it is. This is the game we play when you crack, press, and resubmit. Um, I am planning on maybe cracking the the 8 uh, pressing it one more time, and sending it in to CBCS. Possibly for a, uh, if Larry Hama does another signing, because I would like to get that copy signed. I already own a 9-4 newsstand i believe signed by hama but i would like to get all my copies eventually signed by him so let me know what you think i mean how is your crack press and regrade going so far in the year and what are your thoughts on cgc as a whole hoping you enjoyed the video see you next time guys and gals